Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I have a challenging word for you tonight. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Now, that pretty much says it, Pat's two cents. That, that, that pretty much says it to me. That gets the point across real clear. This is where many don't quite get it. Check this out. Many of you will sit there and bow to a man or a woman. You bow to your lover. You serve your lover. You please your lover. You sin for your lover. Because there's no other lover like your lover, baby, had. And you do whatever it takes to make your lover happy. Because you want your lover to make you happy and make you feel whole and complete. Only God can do that, y'all. No other can do that but God. You want to feel whole? You want to feel perfectly loved? Only God. Moving right along. What is the next thing I want to say about that? Some of you men and women are so desperate. It is almost embarrassing. You are desperate. And you need to stop it. You really need to stop it. You are sniffing, literally brown nosing somebody, kissing up to them. You're doing whatever you think makes them happy so they will stay in this relationship with you because in your mind, you need them. Don't make me slap you. Now, moving right along, you will sit there. They, they may cheat on you. They may lie. They may take your money. Bad enough, they take in your honey, huh? That you should not be giving. But you give it up freely now, don't you? Yeah. They don't have to do anything but part their legs or drop their pants, and you are ready, Freddy, or ready, Frederica. But the bottom line is you are sitting there giving paying homage and worshiping a human being breath and britches or skirts and 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 okay i'll be nice so why why do you do that why are you so desperate and that is the word i know you don't want to hear it i know you don't want to no yes you are desperate Anytime you're willing to take a cheating man or a cheating woman or an abusive man or an abusive woman, I don't care how many kids you got, that's no excuse. Anytime you are ready to receive abuse of any kind, disrespect, being called out your name with a bunch of B's and holes and, and MF's and, and, and yeah, you're willing to take that as long as they're willing to come with a nice apology and a little love to put the little cherry on top because you like that makeup time. So you don't mind a little drama, keeps things interesting, gets hot and steamy, and then y'all get it on, and then it's honeymoon and it's flowers, and it's the movies, and it's dining, and whining, and all that good stuff. Next thing you know, bow! Or your money's gone, or your bank account is empty, or they're in the bed with another lover. Ooh, ooh, and guess what you do? You fuss, you fume, you scream, you beat holes in the wall, you have hissy fits, temper tantrums, and before the week's up, they're bad because they know. They got you by the nose, baby. Yeah. 
and you bend over and let them pump you right in your butt. Sodomize your dignity. Sodomize your pride. Sodomize your love. They sodomize everything about your life. And you sit there and say, more, more, more. Oh, come on. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? You need love. You're lonely. You don't feel attractive. You don't feel handsome. You don't feel like that strapping man that lives across the street. I've seen, let me tell you, baby cakes, I've seen some ugly folks, and I'm not being mean when I say it. Some folks are pretty, some folks are ugly, some folks in between, average, whatever. But I've seen some ugly folks get some wonderful wives and husbands. So don't even try it. That's not an excuse. I used to think, you know what my excuse used to be? Well, I'm so heavy. It'll be hard for me to find somebody. When I went to church, started walking with the Lord, the heavy ones were getting married, baby, not the skinny, slender, pretty ones. Made me rethink my game, too. Hello. You need to rethink yours. Ask God to help you. Because he does not appreciate you paying homage to people that should not be on the throne where God sits. But you keep putting them up there. Time for that to stop. Let's close the curtain on it, okay? Shall we? Lord help you. Mm, mm, mm. Lord help all of us who play that. What is the word? Who are stuck on stupid. Oh, 